Hi, and welcome to my class for crafters. Today, I'm going to talk to you about illuminating. Um, I'm going to show you, before we start, I'm going to show you all the projects that I've been doing with illuminating. So, the first one is this scarf. Look how long and beautiful that is. This is the pattern. It's like a zigzag, I guess, or a linky thing. Um, I don't know exactly the pattern name because I am a beginner. I just started uh, loom knitting for about a week now. And I'm learning as I go. And I'm learning all the stitches that there is around there. So, yeah, if you know this stitch, let me know. <laughs> so, uh, I've been doing that. I really like it. I used two yarns to make... Um, this so it will be nice and thick and warm for winter cold nights and snowy nights because I'm always cold so you know it's gonna be like that so it is perfect for me and um, what else I made the other day I made this baby hat and it only took me for about 40 minutes or so so there's a brim around it. It's really, really soft and cute. Like, I'm probably going to make a baby blanket out of this. It's really, really nice. As you can see. I don't know if you guys can see the patterns. There's, like, little holes in it. It's really cute. So I made that. This is the only two things that I made so far. And uh, I'm going to show you now all the looms that I have bought. The first two looms I bought is this one right here. I made my scarf with this one. And this long one right here. I'm probably going to make a baby blanket or any other blanket with this. So, uh, yeah. It's right there. And the other day I went shopping at Walmart because I bought, I bought all my looms from Walmart because I didn't go to any other craft place. And I've seen more looms that I wanted to buy, and so I bought these round ones. And this is the one that I made the baby um, hat with, this one right here. So it has four looms, this one. There's this one, big one right here, that can fit right there. And there's this one, and that one right there. And there's this one. So there's four. One, two, three, four. And you can make whatever you like with these things. It's really, really cute. Um, like I said, you can make the hat. You can make a baby's um, socks with this. And you have to buy the little ones. I've seen the little ones. I'm probably going to go buy some more. And you can make a um, uh, dog's sweater, which I would love to learn how to do it. I've seen it on YouTube. You can make different kind of things with any of the moves. And if you don't know how to loom, like I don't know how to loom, I mean, if you don't know how to knit, I didn't know how to knit very, knit very well. And this is awesome because you can make different kind of things with these looms right here. All of these right here. This is my collection of looms so far. I don't know, I'm, I'm getting a little um, overexcited just loom knitting. I just started it once, I'm like, because I've been going to Walmart for like ages, right? I love Walmart. And I always go to the craft section and I would say, I would look at the looms and I would say, hmm, you know, should I buy it, should I try it, I don't know, I'm not good at knitting, la 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 la. So the other day I'm like, hmm, let me just buy it and try it. I searched on YouTube and I saw a few people making tons of really neat things. And so I bought my first looms, the long looms. And uh, I made this look back here. So now I'm really liking it, so I think I'm going to you know, learn more things. Hopefully I can learn more stitches and um, do it. So what's inside um, the kit? Because each kit comes with different things. Well, not different things, but mostly really the same. But this, it comes with each kit, each one. And it comes with, oops, sorry. It comes with a needle and a few pegs just in case any of your pegs break. And it also comes with a hook like this. Now, my first peg that I bought, the long one right here, it came with this one as well. This one is like plasticky and it's really 
thin. Right there, look, I don't know if you guys can see it. It's really thin. When I bought my round blues, I got this inside the kit. It's really, really, it looks purple. I just noticed that, but it's actually pink. So it's really soft. And so it's not plasticky like um, this one right here. This one's more softer. And it is much more thicker as hopefully you can see, comparing to this one right here. And this one, it actually bended really bad the other day, and I had to like fix it up uh, on a table because it was really, really bad. Like you have to pull the yarn, right? So when I got this one, I, I've been using this one because it looks more secure and it, it won't break much than compared to this one. So all kits come with one like this, a needle, and um, a pace. Needle and pace. So how to start? From what I've learned, you first get yarn. So depending on what kind of yarn you Get. You have to always check uh, the sizing of your yarn. Let's see what I have. Just to give you an idea. So yeah, I'm using this Red Heart comfort, let's say, okay? And my size it says for medium. So that means you need to use two yarns because the looms right here are um, really far apart each other, so it will give you a big gap. So you definitely need two yarns. If you have a more bulkier yarn, like this baby yarn right here, then this one was five, I believe. Then it's okay, you could use one. So you always check and see what yarn size uh, you have. If it's more or less than five, um, definitely you will need two yarns. So this one's a four. Right here. And it's a medium. So always check before you buy a yarn. I'm going to show you on this one right now how to start low knitting. So uh, it will look a little bit thin because I'm just using one yarn and it's, it is a thin um, yarn. So basically what you do, oh, uh, you're going to start with a slip knot. I'm going to show you in a bit how to do it. So anyhow, your slip knot. And you're going to put it, oh God, it's a little hard to do this <laughs> if you're not on the down, you know, on the table. Like so. So that was a slip knot. I'm going to show you how to do it. And basically, you go around each peg. Now, because I'm a beginner, it's a little hard for me and my tiny um, uh, fingers to go around each peg. You know, you need a, you know, you have to be a very um, a pro thing. I mean, you could do it, really, you can. But it, I find it takes too long to go each one around and, and all that, and then you have to go down. So, I searched the net and I found on YouTube on Mike's, I can't remember the name, Mike's uh, something, and he gave a little tip, and this is it. You take a pen, you could even buy those, it's a styler, it's called a styler or something like that, and basically you take a pen, you take off the bottom, you take off the ink, and take it all out, and um, you pass your yarn, You pass your yarn right in there. Now it's a little hard to do it. So basically you take a floral wire, floral wire, and you do like a hook kind of thing like this one. It's a little uh, old now because I've been using it all week. So I have to make a new one. So make it a hook. And then you're going to place your yarn about there inside. And then you're going to take your styler and you're going to put that in like so. And you're going to bring it all out like that. And that is done. And there you go. You have your um, 
yarn in the styler. So now you have to do a slip knot. So a slip knot is you take the yarn and you put two yarns on your finger like that and then you take this one and you bring it in front of you. Now keep holding it tight so it won't be loose. And then you take this again right there and you bring it out like a knot. That's a slip knot. So, and then you put it on your peg like that. Sorry, the lightning, actually, the lightning. Uh, outside, it's really getting dark now. I think it's going to rain. So, anyhow. So, then afterwards, what you do is you could um, go around the pegs like this. So, it will be very easy. Look how fast it goes now. So that's like an e-wrap kind of thing. And basically, that's it. Look how fast it goes. So then what you do is you take your tool right here. And let's see how I'm going to do this so I can show you guys. So you take the bottom like that. And the first one is always going to be a little hard. So you take the bottom and you... Bring it, I don't know, and you bring it, you take the bottom right here and you bring it on top like that. So you do that with all of them, like so. You do that. So, exactly, that's what you do most of the time. You take it, bring it out. Always the bottom one, and then you have to um, pop them all down like that, so they can be all down. And then once you do them all, you take them out from the, take the bottom out and put it through your peg. You'll have one yarn like this, right? Then you go again with your styler, and you go around like that. I'm not going to do all of it. And then you go once again. You go and do that. So that's basically it. Depending on what you want. You know, if you want, you can do all of your pegs. If you want, you can do some of your pegs. Um, it's really, really easy. So that's basically it. And uh, that's what I've been working on. And I wanted to share it with you all. So uh, I'll see you next time. And uh, if I work on something else I will um, show you and if you are a loom knitter beginner or uh, a pro please write to me down below and let me know what kind of stitches did you make or do you know and uh, maybe we could chit chat and talk about loom knitting so I'll talk to you guys soon bye